Or just, you know, seeing the, the points, the yards I'll put up the last two games, I know it's not the end goal, but how fulfilling has it been to see that kind of play out that way? Oh, it's fun scoring points, you know, especially as an old lineman, you know, scoring at the rate we are. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, yes, we get to get off the field early. But uh, it's, it's fun, like I said, uh, you know, dominating opponents and things like that. And, you know, you look to, you practice like that. So um, you look forward to things like that, and it's, it's fun. Parker, you've been here a long time. You've been here through good. You've been here through bad. Uh, what is the locker room vibe like now? Is it the best it's been in your time here? Uh, in my opinion, I'd say so, yeah. Uh, it takes time, you know, to build that chemistry that we have now um, from what I've heard from before I even got here. So uh, to where it is then and to where it is now, like, you know, everybody's equal, everybody's one, and, you know, nobody thinks they're better than somebody because you're in this position or that position. So it's pretty exciting to see, you know, guys – you know, meshing like that. And, you know, you want to play for people like that, so. As a veteran on this team, is there anything you tell the young guys or the other older guys to the young guys about what it would mean to go to a bowl game at this point in your career? Uh, it's very important, especially, you know, for, you know, the seniors and things like that. You know, you want to put your name out there. You know, scouts and other uh, people like that are looking to see, like, or is this guy helping the team win? You know, is, um, you know, is he doing what he's supposed to do to help the team win? And, you know, it's my last season, so, you know, why not, you know, go out with a big one, get a ring, you know, have fun doing it. How have you seen Caden grow, you know, from start one at Army to, to now? Uh, just, you know, he's decisive. You know, I, I knew that from, you know, when we first got when he first got here. And, uh, you know, he makes decisions quick. You know, he's, he's learning on the fly. You know, he's asking questions. You know, he's very deliberate about his work. And uh, it's exciting to see somebody, you know, doing that, especially at that position. And, uh, you know, you want to play, you want to protect your butt off for him. So it's exciting. How have you seen Blake kind of, I don't know, make tweaks or changes for you guys? It seems like he's looking out for y'all as, as players. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you, you see the result on the field. You know, he's taking care of us, you know. But at the same time, you know, when you're out there, you got to get the work in. So it's not a, a time where, oh, yeah, the coach is taking it easy on us. Let's slack off. No. When you're out there, every rep's important. So, you know, maximize your reps when you're out there. What's it been like having Coach Baker on the sideline the past couple of games? Oh, it's it's very energetic. You know, it's, he brings a lot of juice to the game, you know, with him being a younger coach. It's exciting to play for. Um, you know, he, he's jumping on us and things like that and, you know, getting hype with us. And it's exciting, you know, when we're executing and having him along with us. Speaking to that, how important is it to, when you go on the road, it could be a smaller crowd to keep bringing that energy and – you know, not let it change those those circumstances. Yeah, I just tell guys, is, you know, you got to bring your own juice. Uh, that's how you play the game. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you have a packed house or, you know, you have 10 people in the stands. Uh, you got to bring your own juice and you feed off of each other. And, you know, you play for each other. You don't play for, you know, the people outside outside the field. Do you, uh, what do you see from Tulsa on film from what you've been able to see? Oh, a very aggressive front, uh, you know, back into uh, linebackers as well. They're not going to quit. You know, they're a hard-nosed team. They're a very physical team. Um, they're coached well. They're very disciplined with their run fits and things like that, and a very aggressive team. And it's a good challenge to, you know, go against those guys, so I'm excited for it. JDB complimented you guys for sticking to the process earlier in the season when things weren't going so well. When you look back at that time now, what do you kind of see as kind of the main reason for being able to stick together, and what's it like to see the results now? Uh, I, I said this too, like as far as preparation, you never want to take a, a rep off or a playoff because you never know when it's going to get you. And, you know, if you work hard now, you know, it'll, the results will pay off, you know, come game day, come the back end. And, you know, you're not putting yourself behind. Like I have young guys, you know, oh, I have time. I have all, all this eligibility left. I can take some time off. No, get ahead of the game. So that's why I usually tell those guys and they shoot guys my age too, so. We've seen a lot of dancing in the end zone the last few games from the whole offense. Who, who do you think has the best dance moves on the on the offense? Uh, shoot, I, I got to get the O line to do something. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we have like our five shots and things like that uh, during practice. So like as a unit, the ones and twos, like we'll come up with something, you know, break it down, and then it's it's pretty fun. But uh, Chase put some moves together. You know, Winston likes to keep it simple, so you know, it was fun doing that.